Druid. Hope. Uh, against Druid. I believe Zico is the other mage that also 2 0 Druid, which is something that uh, we wouldn't have said was likely if you look at kind of other dueling metas in Classic uh, later on when more gear comes out. But in this gear setup, it actually feels like the mages do have enough damage to burst down these druids. So let's see how Zayu does. He's already had a really good opener here. Gordon Ramsay's super low on health as Zayu is having a lively start. But there's the Feral Charge into the Gnomish Death Ray, but it's going to be easily blocked by Zaryu. So the cancellation of the Death Ray by Gordon Ramsay, he pays the price. He ends up taking the damage from the channel, and he's unable to get the cast off. Would have been a sick play, but Zaryu quick to adapt and gets the counter spell off as well. The Feral Druid stands no chance against the Frost Mage. Yeah, that was insanely one-sided. <laughs> Zayu absolutely destroys Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay, as you say, he's running kind of a different spec to the rest of the Druids uh, in this one, which it does probably put a bit of disadvantage, I think it's fair to say, as we do see uh, Zayu picking up a very quick win there. He used one Ice Block, but he didn't use the Evocation, and he didn't use the second Ice Block, so he's still got a lot of cooldowns for this second duel. If he can pick up another 2-0 here, it's going to be absolutely huge for Zayu, uh, especially since both him and Zico lost 0-2 to the Wallachs today. We're going to see Venruki uh, and Sagu playing tomorrow. They're looking to catch up these mages, so Zayu needs to put up as many points as he can on the board today to make sure that he's accruing that top two spot. See if he's able to do so in this second duel against Gordon Ramsay, the Feral Druid, the only Feral Druid of the tournament. Um, we have a couple of unique specs in the tournament thus far. We've got Gordon Ramsay on the Feral. We have Vec, the only Dagger Rogue of the tournament so far. And we have Stream Snipe, a Beast Mastery Hunter. So a couple of out-of-meta specs have been uh, used in the tournament. And some of them have found some success. Others have struggled a little bit. As Zaryu equips his six Demon Bag. We'll see what... Uh, We'll see what lucky or unlucky use he gets out of this, as well as the Goblin Mortar, as Gordon Ramsay opens up into an immediate Frost Nova from Zaryu. Kona Cole to follow, gets the grenade off, gets the Frost Bolt off, gets the damage oh. off with the lightning coming out from that six demon bag, and Gordon Ramsay is deleted. Very excited to watch this one. Love both of these competitors very much. Both great people and both great World of Warcraft players. Bruce Wayne starts off with a quick reflect on the rank one Frost Bowl, trying to get whatever distance he could. But Zaryu, man, he is, he just knows, man. This guy is so reactive. He's so quick. And he just immediately charges in onto Bruce, blinking in right away. He pops his first ice block. Is that a six demon back coming out from Bruce Wayne there? Wait, the polymorph. I, I'm guessing that was a six demon bag. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but nevertheless, the polymorph got reflected by Zaryu. Bruce swapping out the trinkets right away, and he gets he gets a new breath of life coming out there from, from Bruce. That might have been a six demon bag backfire from Zaryu, actually, who's now completely out of mana as Bruce is just kiting him at this 40 yard line, but the dual range is just a little bit too short for Bruce who pops his AGM. Invocation comes off. Does he go for the nade? No, he gets the scatter instead. Drops the trap. Zaryu now out of ice blocks, but he kites around the trap. Great awareness there by Zaryu, managing his distance as Bruce Wayne tries to force him in, but it's too late. The fire blast finishes him off. The backfire from the six demon bag catching off, <laughs> catching us off guard there. But Zaryu still manages to get the victory. I, I think Zaryu is literally the only person used trinket, and I love such bag of anything can pop out of it, whether it's a one shot element or some sort of fire spell. I think we saw a pyroblast obliterating someone a couple of weeks ago, and now randomly a polymorph backfired onto Zaryu the first time that, that trinket has. Uh, backfired on him. Almost cost him that duel, uh, but he's still able to find the victory. But it cost him a lot. It cost him his ice box, it cost him his evocation. So is Bruce is definitely going to have a good time going into this second duel now uh, against Zayu. Definitely not what he was looking for from that trinket. If he just landed a bit more damage from it, if that had been like a 500 uh, attack spell instead, he probably would have held on to all of those cooldowns. Uh, the ice block and the evocation, and it would have been prime. But uh, without that, now Zayu gets punished maybe a little bit by the seventh demon in that bag. He didn't know it was in there or something. Uh, now we have to see if he can find a second win without those cooldowns against Bruce Wayne.
And this is exactly what I want to see from Koth and Luck here. Zaryu popping the net, Bruce Wayne adjusting, going for the spider belt. And I love this. The furable medicine pouch on the hunter to recover, as well as the gnomish cloaking device and the goblin mortar. So Bruce Wayne looking to outlast Zaryu here and play the control game as he gets the goblin mortar, but it's resisted. The net is dropped as he popped the spider belt. He's holding on to it for a little bit. Goes for the first aid instead. Bruce Wayne throws the grenade. Now he uses the belt. No, the gnomish net just wears off in the duration. Zaryu again playing around that trap so beautifully not going within the damage understanding the range understanding the distance that shows he's a man who's been practicing against hunters a lot during this past week the frostbite as well Bruce Wayne in huge trouble here the backup of the frost nova he's just stuck in place goes for the first aid gets one tick off gets the scatter as well Zaryu now low on mana that verbal medicine pouch doing work oh, for Bruce Wayne keeping him alive oh he fell into the trap he fell into the trap, and now Bruce Wayne tried to run away to get distance, but Zaryu just blinks right back in. Ice blocks. Bruce Wayne, though, he drops a trap. No, I'm sorry, this is another trap. As Zaryu tries to walk back into range, he goes for the Frostbolt. He's out of mana. The Viper Sting, rank one Frostbolt coming out onto Bruce. He's completely oom, but the Fire Blast coming at the very end, finishing Bruce off. With good timed ice block, Zayu so can mitigate a lot of that incoming damage from the elemental shaman uh, and just kind of attrition this fight out. Zayu was actually the only mage I, I've seen so far that just completely shut out shaman in the first weekend. He just went for full on aggression. He didn't even try and reset. He just won the duel straight out, but he's taking a lot of damage right now. He's not going to be able to play the same against Elemental as he did Enhancement as he tanks that chain lightning to the face, maybe looking for sheeps to get a reset early on. And the Goblin Mortar does not stun Physical, who charges up a Chain Lightning. He's trying to bait out that counter spell if he can. The Grenade, though, is resisted by Fizz, who just goes for the Lesser Healing Wave instead. And the Chain Lightning coming out from Fizz. I don't know if you saw his first Earth Shock did like 33% of Zaryu's health. And the Chain Lightning followed up with an additional third as he just goes for the Healing Wave once again with the Grounding Totem. He's going to eat the Poly here. No Skull of Impending Doom, so he's not going to break out of this one. But I'm not quite sure he needs to just yet. Azar, you will go for the reset. Get a quick inspect on Fizz's gear. See if he's got the Skull of Impending Doom equipped. He does not. So he's not going to have a break out of that Polymorph just yet. Improved Counterspell now coming out from Sorry, Here comes the damage. Here comes the Frostbolt and the Fire Blast. But Fizz just tanks it. He's an Elemental Shaman. He's not an Enhanced Shaman. He can deal with all of this right now. Charging up the Lightning Bolt. Zaryu you forced to blink away. Now Fizz just running towards his opponent. No, he goes for the reset. Does he get a tick off? It didn't look like he did. He drops the grounding totem. There's the rank one frostbolt to take down the totem. But look at Zaryu's mana. It's dropping slowly but surely. The nade, it looks like it lands, but it's resisted as Zaryu blinks away. Gets another big frostbolt onto physical. Zaryu, though, he's got to be careful of the mana game here. As Fizz drops the grounding totem, gets the first eight ticks back off. That's three ticks for Fizz. He's recovering tremendously. Pops the earth shock. The polymorph is going to dark rune it. He does not. So Fizz forced to endure the reset. Now it looks like Zaryu might be able to recover a bit here and swing this duel back in his favor. Yeah, this is a completely different style to what we've seen Zaryu enjoy playing. This Eco was doing in earlier duels where he's going for these resets, playing a much more slow-paced duel. It's very reliant on how long those sheeps do last for. Fortunately, he had decent RNG on that one. It didn't break too early there. Uh, Physical has been playing it very conservatively himself. He's still about 60% mana. He's playing this one well. And obviously the threat from the Shaman is still very much there if he can just get one good setup with his damage. But in the meantime, lots of damage coming in onto Fizz, uses his nature swiftness after the counter spell expires. Zayu probably doesn't have enough mana to win this one right now, but he is throwing the kitchen sink at Fizz. All the pets come out the zoo. The damage from those, the pushback on the heels as well. And Fizz really is having to burn through his mana to the point that Zayu could just get the game here. He gets the Frostbite proc, the first aid comes through. It's not going to be enough. The counter spell secures it. And Zayu, very clean here, didn't have to use any of his ice blocks, gets a quick win off of the Shaman yet again. It looked like... It looked like Fizz had that one in the bag at the start of the duel, but Zaryu able to recover, play methodically, play patiently, and he takes one out of Fizz, who now has expended a couple of cooldowns, but he still has his Skull of Impending Doom. He still has, you know, his Dark Rune if he didn't use it during that duel. And you can see here, he swaps over to that Skull. He doesn't want to be caught in those Polymorphs anymore. He busts out the Barovs as well. No, swapping to the AGM. The Ice Reflector and the Spider Belt too, in case of that Frostbite proc.
Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I think it's pretty reasonable. I, I, honestly, I, I'm just so by how Zayu has played this matchup specifically. I, when he plays against Shaman, he looks different to other majors. Like, he doesn't even let them get close to the win. We saw it against Sidhu uh, during the first weekend. We're seeing it here against Fizz. I mean, I could be made to eat my words. You know, one good chain lightning connection can change the duel instantly. But I have just been super impressed by Zayu in this matchup. Uh, let's see if he can take the 2 0 once again and kind of apply pressure to uh, other majors. He's super closely tied with Zico right now, both of them sitting for that top spot here on the majors. If Paul Sheep connects, as Zayu once again looks for that clean open up the Shaman. He's gonna get it here as he gets a couple of ticks off. No, he interrupts his second tick, but it's not gonna matter too much. He has the full mana that he needs. HP not as big of a factor in this duel as mana is as he launches the big frost bolts back to back. Fizz pops his AGM preemptively, absorbing as much of the damage as he can, going for the lesser healing, trying to juke Zaryu's counter spell, drops the grounding totem, but doesn't follow up. He has the skull of a pending doom equipped. The grenade is whiffed by Fizz as Zaryu blinks out of the way. Frostbite used, no spider bell. There it is, uses the last second by Fizz as he tries to close that gap. Grenade is on cooldown. Can he close this gap onto Zaryu? He goes for the lesser healing. There's the improved counter spell. Follow up in the damage from Zaryu. Big frost bolt into the frostbite, into the code of cold. Fizz could go down here if he's not careful. Arcane explosions as well. Fizz taking so much damage. And Zaryu capitalizing on that counter spell following up with the damage needed to take down the Elemental Shaman.